on my last video where I released a triangular arbitrage scanner for Bybit Exchanged, I received a few comments and a few emails to build the same tool for Qcoin Exchange. So in this video, I'm going to release the same tool for Qcoin Exchange. Now let's do a quick comparison of Qcoin Exchange in relation to Bybit and Binance. Now, if you've already watched my previous video about triangular arbitrage and Bybit, you must already be familiar with the stats. If not, I'll do a quick explanation so that uh, those who haven't watched the previous video could follow along. Now, I've used some technical words like assets, pairs, and paths, right? So what do I mean by that? So if you look at any trading uh, pair on, on any exchange, you would see something like BTC USDT or ETH USDT, right? So that indicates a trading pair and a pair consists of two, un two unique assets, right? If you take BTC USDT, BTC is an asset and USDT is an asset and they together form a trading pair. So the first metric tells you the number of unique assets available on an exchange. So if you can see here that Bybit and Binance has almost the same number of assets, whereas Qcoin has significantly higher number of assets compared to the other two. And the next one is trading pairs. So Binance has about 1389 trading pairs and Bybit has, you know, quite a few, not, not a lot, just 366 pairs. Whereas Qcoin has almost the same number of pairs as Binance Exchange. Now, now you must have noticed something weird here. So Binance has only 370 78 assets, but it still has more trading pairs than Qcoin, which already has 815 assets. So how is it possible? Uh, so that's because Binance has a lot of markets on offer. So if you look at Binance, there are several different markets on offer, right? You have US, USDT market, BTC market, Ethe Ethereum market, XRP, and you know, and BUSD. There are quite a few markets on offer on Binance, but it looks like Qcoin doesn't have a lot of markets available to trade to trade with. So that is the reason why Qcoin, despite having significantly higher number of assets, it still has you know less trading pairs on offer compared to Binance. Third one is the arbitrageable paths. Even here, right, the number of markets on offer dictates how many arbitrageable paths you can have. So an arbitrage path is nothing but, uh, so if you look at arbitrage trading, right, you have to do three trades in succession, right, so three hops, if you will. So each, so each path, uh, so this metric indicates the number of unique paths that are possible on a particular exchange. So you can see that because Binance has a lot of markets on offer, it's able to provide significantly higher number of opportunities compared to Bybit or Qcoin. Now, the last metric I highlighted here is the coin market cap ranking and Binance being the top exchange, it's currently ranking number one with a daily trading volume of around 10 billion US dollars. Whereas Bybit, it's ranking number seven with a daily volume of 266 million and Qcoin currently has a rank four with daily volume of 566 million. Now, the reason I highlighted it over here is because I believe if an exchange is already sitting on the top, then it's quite likely that the market is already saturated and you may not find that many arbitrage opportunities. This is just my opinion and I could be completely wrong here. So maybe you could try out these tools and let me know in the comment section if that is really the case or you know if it doesn't matter. Running the bot is really simple. All you have to do is download a Google Drive link that I've given in the description box and you will see these files inside that folder. So these are executable files created for different operating systems. So you have one for Windows, one for Mac OS and one for Linux. And you must already see where I'm going with this. All you have to do is double click the file and that's it. Your bot starts running. It's a lot simpler than installing Node.js and you know, doing all the other stuff. That's it. So the bot is running and in order to access it, you just have to open this URL in the browser. Just minimize this. As you can see, it is live and you can access the tool and the UI looks very similar to the tool that we have for Bybit or Binance and you can see the values are also updated real time. So it is, you know, active. To stop the bot, you just have to close this file. Finally, let me quickly explain how to read this table. Again, if you've already watched my video on Binance or Bybit, you must already be familiar with this. If not, I'm just reiterating for those who haven't watched those videos. So this, these are all the list of opportunities that uh, the bot has identified. And this list is sorted by descending order. So you would see the best uh, trades on the top, the best uh, opportunities on the top. And 
each opportunity has you know three different uh, trades that you have to execute in succession because this is a triangular arbitrage right so you would do three hops if you will so if you look at the first one uh, for for all these opportunities the first and last coin would be the same first you would convert your maker to maker tokens to usdt and if you're converting from the first to second token you would do a sell operation and if you're converting from the second to the first token you would do a buy operation so depending on that we the bot either takes the bid price into account or the ask price into account you know to to make the calculation more accurate so yeah the first one is convert your maker to usdt and yeah because this is a sell operation it takes bid price into account and this is the current best bid price available you know in the order book and you would convert to usdt and then you would convert your usdt to die token again it, this is a sell operation so take bid price into account and this is the current price uh, you know available and then convert your die tokens to maker tokens so this is a uh, buy operation because you're converting the second token to the first one and that's why we would take the ask price into account and this is the current price on the order book and then you would convert back to your maker token so that's how you read this file and the next column shows the profit of executing these three trades at this price this profit does not take uh, the trading fees into account so this is just the raw value of these three trades so that is how you interpret this table so you must be wondering why i ended up creating an exe file instead of you know providing this traditional deployment approach where you have to install node.js and you know install the dependencies and start the bot by running a bunch of commands so i got this email recently uh, a person was having issues trying to set up the binance arbitrage scanner and i tried to guide him i tried to provide instructions but it only ended up confusing this person even more so i thought he must not be alone there must be quite a few people out there who don't really care about the technicalities and they just want the easiest way to access the tool so that's when i thought you know an exe file where you just have to double click would be you know the easiest way to run this tool so that's what i did i looked into you know different options as to how you can create an exe file and i found this package called uh, package <laughs> and uh, the good thing about this package is it allows you to bundle your node.js app into an executable file and you can run it on devices even where you don't have node.js installed so that makes it really powerful uh, you know you don't have to install any dependencies and you know you just have the single point of entry which is the exe file and that's it you just have to double click it and your app starts running right away so i thought you know that should make the process a lot less cumbersome and that should you know eradicate the barrier for entry in accessing these tools because this process is so easy i want to create these executable files for both binance and bybit triangular arbitrage tools that i released previously so what i'll do is i'll create these executable files and publish them and update the downloadable links in those videos descriptions so feel free to check it out Even though I released the exe file, I believe there are a few users who are interested in the code and want to know how this is built. So for those, I did publish the code to GitHub and you can find the repository in the description box. All you have to do is again the same process just go to the link and download the zip file to download the code. Now I want to take a few minutes explaining the code at a high level. So the entry point is this index.js file where we are creating an express server and serving this html page where we see all the arbitrage results and inside this arbitrage.js file is where we have the the core logic so when we start start this bot we first run this get pairs function which downloads all the pairs using this api and again this is qcoin api and from the from the pairs it identifies all the arbitrage paths now here i had to optimize a little bit if you pay attention to the number of assets you can see that qcoin has disproportionately higher number of assets compared to binance and bybit now the way we identified arbitrage paths in the other two bots is by looping over these assets three times to identify you know a, a combination of you know a pairs that are possible for arbitrage now that technique had worked fine for binance and bybit because there aren't that many assets but if i did the same for qcoin it would take a long time to run so let's do the math right so there are about 302 
assets on bybit and if i loop it over three times that's about 33 million iterations right but if i do the same thing for qcoin so that's 815 to the power 3 that's about 541 million iterations now it, it took about two to three minutes for the bybit uh, get pairs function to return all the arbitrage so the amount of time that would take is 541 divided by 33 so that's about 16 times you know uh, it, let's just take two minutes right so it, it's so it would take 32 minutes for you know the bot to identify all the arbitrage but so it's just a ridiculous amount of time and it needed to be optimized so what i did is instead of looping it over three times i took all the available pairs which is 284 and then looped it over a single instance of asset so because you know the way this works is again this is a bit technical but the first loop is only identifying all the pairs and the second loop is where the actual arbitrage path is identified so i can get away with using uh, pairs you know i can get away with one iteration of the loop one nested loop by just directly iterating it over the pairs so now if I do the math, instead of, you know, doing it for uh, 541 million, it would take about 1248 times 815. So that's about 1 million iterations. So this is a lot faster than Bybit and Binance. So that's why when you run this, you must have seen it earlier, right? When I, when I demonstrated running the exe file, this step... Uh, executed so quickly because it's only 1 million iteration so it took only a few seconds to run so that is the first optimization and then you know after it identifies all the paths we establish a websocket connection to listen to the best bid and best ask prices and again so the best thing about qcoin exchange is it does offer a single topic to subscribe to which is market ticker all which returns the best bid and best ask price for all the you know pairs on the exchange so i didn't have to subscribe to multiple topics like i did with bybit exchange and that's it so once we subscribed we just keep getting uh, you know the best bid and ask price and we use that to calculate the arbitrage uh, results that's it for this video let me know in the comment section if you have any queries or suggestions related to arbitrage scanner and i'll try to incorporate them